And I took the entire church and I said, we are going. On the day we were about to go, true story, I was, I had pegged and every, I'm ready. I was being frustrated because the people I was going with, they were taking too, too long. So I decided to lay down on the sofa and wait for them to finish. As I laid down, I saw the plane and everyone going to Israel. The plane was doing this and it went and landed in water and crashed. I woke up, I said, hey! I'm looking, I said, I just slept like two minutes ago and I have a crazy dream like this. God is talking. Imagine all of a sudden I have a big journey and I fall, I feel sleepy. I said, God wants to communicate. I called my little sister. I said, Stella. She said, what? I said, we need to pray because the plane is about to be attacked. She said, don't worry, Papa, you are with us. So nothing will happen. I said, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> Ask Stephen. Anything can happen and the man of God is there. We got our bags and we went to the airport. We met up with the rest of the church. We got into the plane and everyone else and we got on the plane. We are not talking about when the plane had flown up into the air. We waited on the tarmac. Why are we not moving? We are supposed to have lifted off by now. And then there was an announcement. The pilots coming. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You know how pilots speak. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain Sofrasurus. Upon the Ethiopian Airlines 762. We are scheduled to have left at uh, 1452. But because of a slight malfunction with the we shall be leaving in uh, 30 minutes' time. And uh, until then, uh, uh, sit tight and uh, enjoy your flight. We know that there is a problem. We don't know what it is. We waited. Why are we not moving? So I had a son of mine who was working at the airport. He walks into the plane. I said, son, why are we not going? He said, ah, Papa, this plane is, is refusing to start. So we have to jump start it. I said, jump what? <laughs> so, yeah, 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 we're jump starting the plane. I said, son, this is not a car. You can't jump start. You can't be telling me we are about to jump start. I had a dangerous dream. He said, Papa, what dream did you have? I said, I saw the plane falling. He said, hey, and you are here. You are a man of God. <sighs> this guy is an engineer. <laughs> He's saying, and you are here. You are a true man of God. We waited. So this guy's moving around with the generators. Before we know it, we hear the plane. I said, start. My sister was sitting right next to me. And she's like, Prof, maybe that dream. I said, ah, don't worry. Let's go. The plane moves, is pushed back. They remove that thing, the rig. As the plane is about to start going, it laid out a loud sound like, Everyone on the plane was like, so word had already spread that Papa had the dream of the plane falling. And the three quarters of the plane are JG people. <laughs> Who know that their prophet is an accurate one of God? So the silence on the plane that day, everyone's. So when the sound happens, everyone's sitting like, ah. ah. One of my sons comes and says, Papa, we can just tell them to put it back and then we get, we'll go down. I said, let's go. The plane, I'm telling you, this is a true story. I'm sure the people that we, I was with, they will remember this flight. The plane it lines up on the runway to take off. And as the plane takes off, I know much about planes. I'm a plane enthusiast. I love planes so much. So I know every type of plane. I know what happens. I know how to fly a plane. I know how things work. So I know that when a plane is taking off, it, ne it needs a maximum thrust to push through into the atmosphere. As the plane is just taken off, just barely a few kilometers off the ground, I heard the engines go immediately into idle, which is very strange because that is the time when the engines need more power. So I'm hearing the engines go, 
then it will goes into idol. I'm like, no, 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 no. Idol only happens when we're at 33,000 feet. Kunyutura when they are just flowing there. You don't nyutura pachukomo ajite. Imagine you drive a motor to Argembo nyutura pa gomo. Deo, you need to say, you know, zukira kapas. You don't nyutura there. I said, what is going on here? As I heard the engine going, hee, then I heard another sound, hee. Now, the engines have what? Shut down. One sign that you can know that the engines have shut down, the left engine on an aeroplane powers the electronics inside the plane. So when it goes off, the plane gets what? Dark. So now the plane goes and those emergency lights go. Ha! I did not know that you guys can pray. Ha! Me, every Sunday I have to force you to pray. Let us pray. Father God. That day I have never heard tongues. My little sister was, it's difficult. She be like, that's how she prays every single time. She was holding the she was holding the chair like this. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. Because now you know the plane is dark. And what led to even it being more scary, Ethiopian Airlines, they always travel with a reserve pilot. He's always sitting at the business class or whatever class, first class they, they have. When the engine shut down, do you know what he did? He was reading a newspaper. He did this. And then he saw that the engines are down while they were climbing. He threw the newspaper on the floor and it ran. Everyone watching to go on the door and enter the cockpit. Then everyone knows that, yeah. So is this it? Is this how I die? Imagine dying. That is when you start hearing that guy from National Geographic's air crash investigation. It was a Saturday night. Aboard Ethiopian 7444 bound for Israel. And aboard was Prophet Ebrazo. When you hear was, ah, they died. I'm having these scenarios in my head. Are we about to die? I had a dream. I had a dream. Everyone in the plane is praying. The air was just, no one is moving. They're saying, please fasten your seatbelts. Fasten your seatbelts. The plane, we are still seeing Robert Mugabe there. Immediately, they leveled the plane so that it doesn't fall down quickly. And then we are, we are, everyone's quiet. In the midst of the panic, I remember God telling me about something that will happen to me in the future. Then I said, ah, I will not crash. Why? That thing has not yet happened. So as long as that has not yet happened, this plane will have a miracle somewhere and we will make it. it may, everyone might die here, but I'll come out alive because that thing has not happened to me. I leaned over to my sister. I said, this plane has a probability of crashing. But what is certain, I'm not dying in it. You might die, but I'm not dying. I prophesy to somebody listening to me. If that plane must crash, you will not enter. But if you enter, it will not crash. Do you receive it? Sit down. A few minutes later, we had the engine. You know, they, they, they've got a, 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 a ram turbine that comes under the plane. That's a, its generator. It goes, pa, and then it goes, whoosh, then it goes, Purr, then it switches on the, it jumps starts the engine, the engine starts again, and then there was lights. As there were lights, we had the engines going, the started the engines again. Everyone's, the plane is not moving. We saw the plane going, up. I said, ah, we are safe. And then the pilot comes and says, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We just had a minor issue with one of our engines, but we managed to sort it out and to solve it. And um, our team is waiting, us, waiting for us on the ground in Ethiopia. I said, Ethiopia? <laughs> Robert Mugabe is there. That's the airport there. We are looking at it. My guy, just do U-10. Park. Get us out. We'll look for another plane. Your engine. <laughs> Take your plane by yourself. 
the plane is failing while it's standing and you want us to land in Ethiopia. in Ethiopia. I said, ah, my guy, what's wrong with you? That was been the most silent plane we have ever for all the way from Ethiopia there was no TV, there was no food. Because they can't save, there is nothing. There was no electricity, it was emergency. That was the last time. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Ethiopian Airlines. But it's not my cup of tea. You, you can get on it. I'm not saying, I'm not, please, I know many people watch this program. I am not bashing Ethiopian Airlines. It is a good airline. But it's not for me. Because every time I enter, I'm reminded of that experience. Say, hey, no. No, 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 no. Let me look for Emirates. Or let me just pray and say, God, give me my own. But for that to happen, for everyone to pray that what saved the plane was not because I was in it. What saved the plane was the vision I got. The vision was God warning us that the plane it will fall it just as it lifts up. It, it goes up. The vision was the plane was in the sky and it fell in water. Now when my sister was saying, hey, you know what, was, what gave me courage? I, didn't, I know that there was no water underneath us. So we we're not going to fall any time because there was no water. I said, no, you do not understand the vision. The vision was not, water is not representing the water. The plane is the plane, but the water is not water. In the realms of the spirit, if you dream of water, if you dream of an ocean, 70% of the time it is talking about many people. So the plane was going to fall in an area of many people. So God, God allowed me to sleep. And when I, when I fell asleep, a doorway was opened for me to enter and to see. So every time you sleep, know this, whether you like it or not, you are opening portals, you're opening doorways into the spiritual realm. 